Hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, I'm just gonna record some of the things I bought in her baby room. So this came this morning, it made me feel really official, like I'm really pregnant, really gonna have a kid. The car seat has arrived. Um, <clears throat> this car seat is pretty cool. I don't know the name of it or anything. I'm just gonna show some cool features that I liked when I saw it. Um, <clears throat> it kind of gives you a measurement of how much the baby weighs um, to let you know when they're too big for it, which is awesome. Um, and it has this little adjustable thing on it where you can move it up and down and then you can pull this out. It's a block. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. To block the sun or whatever um and then i guess i'll get something to go over it um which you know she probably won't even be 35 pounds in this because she'll be born in the summer and um so i won't need to protect her from like the cold or whatever so um then it comes with it comes with the base for the car because it's a car seat and you can take it off and um i guess transport it like we go into restaurants and stuff um and that part will also fit right here it'll fit right there um and then once she's no longer able to sit in that piece then you just kind of put this on here and so yeah and then this comes out um and then whenever she's able to sit in this by herself um without the car seat in it it has a little sippy cup tray so it's actually upstairs i'll show it to you then the back has a lot of um, storage space down here to sit, I guess, the diaper bag in and stuff. So, let's go upstairs and see what's new. Excuse the mess. Um, working on getting things cleaned up in terms of all the trash in the hallway. Um, so, here's the baby room as of right now. I'll go through and kind of explain everything. Um, my mom was here, so she attached the little diaper bag, um, which is actually supposed to go on the wall, I believe. I think I'm gonna put it on the wall, it looks, makes the bed. Looks a little too busy. Um, this also goes on the wall. Um, I think it's supposed to hold like teddy bears. It says something about toys. Um, so I'll probably put it like in the corner. Um, let's see what else. Excuse me, out of breath, I ran up the stairs. Um, and she put the little newborn diapers in it. How cute. Um, then this is the hamper. She just put her little clothes in there. Or I can for at least five years. Or whatever. But Then this is her mobile. I really like the design. Um, little pillows. And then also... Toys, what is it? Babies R Us ran out of the little wall art. It's like three little pictures. I'll show you in a minute. That's supposed to go up on the wall, but they ran out. So I found this other company that sells the same one. They were a lot cheaper. Um, and this is a little comforter, I guess, that goes with it. Um, also bought the little lamp that matches. Um, so this is the picture. Um, those are on the way the pictures are um and i also ordered those off the website because babies are us doesn't sell those at all <clears throat> so i ordered two of those so she'll be able to have pictures of her probably her sonogram pictures at least for now um that right there i have that but it's in um i stored it in this bag for right now just because i didn't hadn't put it up yet um so but yeah and then we have the, what is that called? The monitor. This is not the one I wanted, but the one I wanted, I couldn't find anywhere. It was like the number one model and they sell it like in Europe. But Babies R Us ran out, I think because they were on sale a couple of weeks ago. So they ran out. But this one's really cool. Um, they have a lot of YouTube videos on it. Um, the ratings are pretty good. It's like... This is a camera, so um, when she's sleeping or when she's in her crib or in her room, even when she gets older, I can still use it. Um, 
I'll be able to see her on the monitor. This little pad right here goes under her mattress. And if she stops moving, it'll uh, alert me on the monitor that there hasn't been movement from her in like 20, 20 seconds. Her, there's a lot of false alarms, so I have to um, kind of brace myself for that. But I believe if you play around with the sensitivity of it, you can get it to where... <clears throat> excuse me there are no false alarms or very limited false alarms um I believe it's won some award I'm not familiar with that but um I know that's a little probably overkill but it will help me sleep at night knowing I can see her or I'll be in here all night long so and <clears throat> then we have this little thing I know it looks very sweet and innocent but it took me two hours to put together <laughs> Um, I'm not that good at following directions, even the ones with pictures. So I have this like upside down and I, uh, I don't know. It was like really crazy to the point where I had to take this piece literally all the way apart, the screws out of it. So I could take this out of it. Yeah. I was late for work trying to put this together, but this is a little vibrator thing she can sit in. Um, so yeah. I'm also going to get her a swing. Um, that's one thing that I haven't gotten yet. I think that's pretty much it for the big major stuff. Um, so on to the clothes. I haven't done, as you can tell last time, I hadn't done a lot of shopping. And I like to do my shopping in bulk. I'll do her shoes and stuff last. She only got like one pair of shoes. So bear with me. Um, I got her this little Calvin Klein outfit it has a little jacket with it um a little pants they are um they look like they're jeans but they're not jeans and then on the back the little tee that goes under it has a little like pearls on it that was so cute so that'll be her little church pants outfit um then I got the little mommy cupcake one we're not going to go over prices because this stuff wasn't like on sale. I just got it because it was cute. So no good deals were had. Um, little cupcake there. <clears throat> and the little cupcake pants. I thought those were freaking adorable. Um, and then we have a little ladybug. I did a lot of black and white polka dot. Because, yeah, I guess little girls wear that kind of stuff. I like it. I love you on it and the little cute pants. Um, and we got some Winnie the Pooh stuff. The little Winnie the Pooh, the Pooh bib. I thought that was adorable. And Mr. Pooh himself t-shirt. I'd actually like a shirt like that. It's freaking awesome. I love bright yellows. If I didn't say that already. This one. I hadn't really looked at this one yet. This is just a little Winnie the Pooh. Thing. And this one, this is one of my favorites that she got. Um, the little tutu with her little pants. Like that. Very cute, very cute. And then this right here, I like as well. The Puma. I did the math on all this, so um, when I say that, I mean like. This is three to six months, and if she's born in May, um, she'll probably be able to wear it comfortably without being too hot um, around, like, August and stuff like that. So she'll get three good months in it, based, excuse me, based on the weather when, you know, she won't be out in this, you know, outside. So even if it's not exactly freezing, she'll be okay. But a little Puma outfit. They had a black one. I might get that next time in a different age. Um, this little dress be a nice um, zero to three months. She can wear church. And I got her little um, rock aware jeans. They're adorable. She has some rock aware um, some uh, some shirts that I got not so long ago. So figured those will go together. And then just some jeans, period. Um, 
Also, uh, something I meant to mention too, there's a store over here. It's a really big store because I don't really like Babies R Us. Finally got my order and everything. Um, but I just didn't like the way that their customer service, the way they handled it. This time when I ordered all the other stuff, everything was fine though. But anyway, there's a, a store called Bye Bye Baby and they have like a lot of jeans. I would say the quality is not that, is not as nice as Babies R Us, but it's a, it's a big store with baby clothes and the prices are reasonable. Also, I realized that I live down the street from a Carter's, uh, which I've never just seen a Carter's store. So I'm gonna have to check that out one day when I'm ready to do some more shopping. Um, so this is a, a little outfit, I think a four piece set, get the little bib. Those socks are freaking adorable. And this little onesie, so as I look at it, it all kind of looks, looks like. Um, but, so we got the polka dots and the little ruffles. <clears throat> and then, we have another little outfit. A pair of shoes came with that. Wild at heart. Little zebra print. And little black tight pants. Cute, cute, cute. So next time, I'm not going to buy any more polka dot. <laughs> Because everything is like polka dot. She's going to be polka dotted out. I didn't realize how much polka dot I was buying. But I guess it's pretty much all they had. This, I got the, all this at Burlington. Um, so we have a little Ralph Lauren shirt. I love um, Burlington. I really do. That's some really good stuff. And the prices were okay. Um, and then the little black tight pins. With a little ruffle and polka dot on the side. And then we have a little... Um, <clears throat> this, I don't know what you call it, onesie. I thought this was cute. Little cupcake onesie um, for her. Oh, I think this, this is huge, actually. I don't know, three to six months. I thought I said 36 months. I'll say what? Didn't might need to buy anything that big. And my range of clothes that I'm buying for is just zero to six months. I'm not going further than that. Um, Cause then I get overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed anyway because I saw all the hair stuff and I'm just like, oh my gosh, um, I'm not ready to go there yet. And buying all the hair stuff and all that. I don't even know how I want to do her hair, what kind of stuff I'm gonna put her in. So I have to wrap my mind around that first. Um, yeah. So some sometimes the shopping can be overwhelming. So I just stuck with the clothes and then looking at what she has, I can then um, figure out what else I need to go get. So anyway. We have a bib, we have a little onesie, and a little pair of black pants, little ruffles on the bottom. Um, and these, these are actually boys, but you can't really tell, I just thought they were cute for our casual days when we are wearing our jeans and our t-shirt. Um, I think these are so cute. Um, so you have the little Calvin Klein onesies, um, the little rock and roll one. Calvin Klein, let's talk more rock. No, what does it say? Let's talk more rock. Okay. What does this one have on it? I really like these. This just has like Calvin Klein printed on it. So. And then these, I really thought they were so cute. It's very cute. I just love those. A little strawberry on it, three months. And the little strawberry on the bum. And here's another. I think I wanted to get three of these. I, I didn't grab the last one. I think it was a yellow, too. The little, what is that? Um, turtle. I love these vibrant colors. This is actually nine months. I don't think I meant to buy it that big. Um, and then this one. I thought this was so cute. My mom said she thinks I had something like this when I was little. I think I did too, actually. I kind of remember it. This is a newborn one. As you can see, I didn't buy a lot of newborn stuff. I think when she's first born, we're going to keep it like real simple, like onesies and stuff. Um, I'm not sure how to put some method, a meth, some method to my madness. Um, I'm also having to figure out how I want to organize her uh, room and stuff in terms of like with all the different sizes. What I want to put in the drawers, if I want to put everything in the drawers. So 
That's why nothing is in the drawers yet. I'm not even sure how I want to organize everything. Um, so anyway, this is a little monkey jumpsuit. I think her cousin, I may have bought her cousin this same jumpsuit. Um, the bananas over mommy. I love little monkey stuff. Um, let's see, is that it? I believe that's it. Um, so next time, I guess we probably, the next time will probably be wall stuff. I found at the Bye Bye Babies, one thing I did like about them is they had, um, what they have? They had like little uh, stickers that you can put on the wall. Like what I'm going to get is I'm going to get this, um, it's like butterflies that are flying around and little stuff like that. So I'm going to put, um, put that on our wall and stuff. I want to put her name somewhere, maybe like right there or right there. Or maybe even right there. I don't know. So I'm going to get some stuff for the walls and hang the little curtain thing up. But um, other than that, I want a bookshelf. Um, like maybe over there in the corner. Because I do want to read to her. I probably need to start reading now. Or with, in, at least in the next month or so. But I bought her some um, Dr. Seuss books. And I put some books on my registry. So I'd like to start reading to her. Um... And, yeah, but the bookshelves I saw, they're either, like, take up too much space or cost too much. Um, so maybe get, like, a toy box one. I don't know. I have to find some type of something for her books. Or I could hang something on the wall. I did think about that. That would be good and simple for right now. And then she can upgrade to a bigger, a bigger one um, later. So, yeah, this is a good, good start for me so I can start taking notes on more but I think the room is just about done. I'm pretty simple when it comes to decorating. Um, just the basics, some wall stuff, and voila. So, but all right, thanks for watching.